What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Rad251 here. Um, continuing on with the weapon stereotype series, okay? Uh, this is episode 6, The Heavy. Alright, uh, I don't think... I, last time I did the demo, man, but I had to switch out for the hat stereotype, so... Here we are, back to The Heavy. Alright, so, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, and of course, this is by, um, Soundsmith. Alright, so, yeah, love his, love his, love his shit here. All right, so let's get this started. Let's go. So the heavy weapons guy is widely considered to be the face of TF2. Since he's featured on the box art in the promotional yeah, material, much. he's yeah, the guy you, that most no, you people think it, yeah. of when they think TF2. With that That's in mind, you'd think he'd be one of the most popular characters to play for new players and veterans alike, right? <laughs> <laughs> Soldier mains. Heavy main, like the only one. <laughs> Serious? Heavy doesn't get all that much love these days. As Show your outrage, all you heavy mains out there. Stand up well and fight. Huge amounts of clueless snipers. And spies, but that doesn't mean that the heavy is free from stereotypes. So before we get started, let's quickly go over that disclaimer thing again. Stereotypes don't mean oh, wait, everyone. That's there are exceptions I think those, to them. So don't go thinking the that these videos are a set in stone rule on what you should think of players using a certain weapon. That's really dumb. Okay, we ready? Yeah, gotta do that right, disclaimer. Go. Oh, he had an Australian uh, minigun. Minigun, stop. I mean, what is there to say about the minigun that isn't obvious just by looking at it? It's a massive behemoth of a gun, it does insane damage up close, and it will completely shred anyone that tries to take it head on. That said, the yeah. same thing applies to basically every heavy primary, so I guess this doesn't really say anything specific. If you see a heavy with a stock minigun deployed, you know they mean business, but the individual stereotype will really depend on what variant they have, be it Australiums, Festives, Skins... Whatever. But that's a series for another day. Oh. You don't have a strange variant of the stock minigun, and you're competent at gambling against AI. Not many people use this weapon, which is a shame. I do really wish that Valve would give us a stranger fire for this, since it's a really cool reskin, and I bet way more people would use it if it tracked their kills. Oh, so it's just a This guy just hates scouts. That's it. I can't say I blame him. Oh, really. If there's a yeah, fast Boston boy being annoying, then this is the fastest way to shut him down. It's also worth noting that the slowdown effect that this weapon has is affected by distance. It's a lot like damage falloff, but with stun mechanics. So it might not be enough to slow someone to a standstill like it used to do, but it is enough to throw you off just ever so slightly when you're rocket jumping. Which and it works great in MVM against those giant robot scouts. using this weapon a lot recently. Ah, uh, yes. Are you still there? Yes. Oh no. Oh come on! That was one <laughs> bullet! And it threw me off just- ah, I hate you. One bullet. Brass this beast! This is a fairly common sight in MVM. There you go, MVM. It's a straight damage buff, which is something that you can't spend credits on to upgrade. It's actually an active subject of debate which minigun is best for MVM, but if your medic's keeping you alive, this is amazing for putting out huge amounts of damage. Yeah. Now, pubs, however, these guys are generally pretty new, and as a result, most Brass Beast heavies are completely clueless. <laughs> the Tomislav. This guy swears by the Tomislav. He will argue day and night that it's the best minigun for heavy, and I guess he's got a point. It's really, really good. Is it better than stock? Well, I don't know. You can form your own opinions on Depends that. Depends on the Thomas situation, like a lot of weapons. Will never shut up about how superior their opinions are. But they also usually carry sandwiches, so I guess I can't be too mad at them. Yeah. And the Thomas Love is great for long range fighting. fighting. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. This guy. Yeah, that one. I mean, it's honestly not a terrible strategy if you've got a pyro to work with. The cart negates the ammo consumption penalty, and the pyro can give you targets to focus down while you're revved up and super glued to the objective, so it's kind of smart in a way, but that doesn't make them any less annoying to deal yeah. with. Thomas Love is, is also really good for assault. Fat scout. The vast majority of tryhard oh, heavies use scout. the sandwich, so the presence of a shotgun usually means that he's just messing around. That said, I'd be ignoring a huge chunk of shotgun heavies if I left out the new players. These guys haven't really unlocked anything for the heavy yet, but due to the nature of the class, they're still quite useful if you stick close to them and help them out. <laughs> he's gonna fat scout, that's awesome. Family okay, business. this guy is definitely a fat scout. He's played the game long enough to get unlocks for the heavy, but he's still not using the sandwich. This takes the new player that hasn't unlocked anything stereotype out of the equation, and just leaves you with that one guy that isn't taking anything seriously, but is still somehow getting frags. 
You know what this is. It's not a weapon. It's a sandwich. It's a fucking sa Actually, it's a, <laughs> it's a, a sandwich. There's a sandwich. There you go. There. This is an item that, in my experience at least, you use because you've been pressured by your team to actually do something helpful for once, since you're obviously not spy checking enough, and you're not protecting your medic, and you're not looking for flankers, and you're not watching over your sentry nest, and. I'm trying to give you your the sandwich. Well, you know Dude. what? If you can't beat them, Heal him. Let's take a sandwich, or a robo-sandwich if you're feeling particularly passive-aggressive, and sling it at their faces. What is and this robo-sandwich And maybe robo then they'll do? appreciate us. Because no, they won't. who doesn't love a healer, right? A good right-click toss with this thing says to your team, I have trained all my life to give you this medium health pack. And by the time you're halfway through that statement, they're dead. <laughs> Outside of times 10 mode, you really rarely see this used. It does let you survive two headshots without dying though, which is why you'll see this slightly more often on payload maps or really anywhere with long sight lines. Huh. This guy is not taking the game seriously at all. By all accounts, it's a really bad weapon, aside from maybe a flank heavy playstyle with the stake as a utility, and even then, it's just really bad. It is seen as the heavy meta in medieval mode, though, along with the killing gloves of boxing, so I guess it's not entirely useless. But either way, if you see a buffalo stake heavy, just don't expect him to get anything done. That way, when he goes <laughs> on a huge tear with the frying pan, it's more of a pleasant surprise. Totally worth it. <laughs> Fists. These guys are usually new players i mean sure there's the i use this because i have a strange wow. variant of these heavies and maybe there are some people that just like punching the crap out of their enemies but it's most common to see on full stock heavies same deal as what i said about shotgun heavies Stick Fist of Fury. Help them out Fist. And be a surprisingly valuable asset to your team these Aqua guys Fist. also like punching people but they also really like mr torg punch him so hard he explodes <laughs> Killing gloves now, of like I mentioned earlier, this is the meta for medieval mode. You can go on huge tears with this, and it's amazing. Also, it pairs surprisingly well with Fat Scout. Crit shotguns are nothing to scoff at, but at any rate, you really don't see this weapon on heavies that are actually trying to play the game and capture the objective, so just keep that in mind. This is one of the most common Burning weapons used by tryhard heavies. The speed boost is a fantastic utility, despite the mini crits carrying over after you switch off of it, but anyway. Uh, gloves are running urgently heavies probably take the game more seriously than your average Hoovy does. Average Hoovy. Warrior Spirit. Why would you, why would you even use this weapon? I, it's, it's just so bad. Just. I, uh, yeah, I use it because I like the way it okay. looks. <laughs> basically. Warrior Spirit heavies are using this because they're new and don't realize what it does, or they're just curious to see how bad it actually is. I mean, I'm well aware that there's probably going to be that one guy who will fight tooth and nail trying to prove that this is a good weapon, and now that I've said this, there's going to be a bunch of them, but I still can't think of one reason why you'd actually want to use this. This is one of those weapons that can be used by both serious and not serious players. It's an amazing utility for tanking damage and making escapes for those that, that try hard, and, and it's also this. really good at preventing damage in order to get up close and punch people if you just want to be a fat dude running around punching people. There's something for yeah. everyone in this weapon, so you'll just have to judge them based off of other stuff. Way, way to go, like tons of fun. Eviction notice. The person using this weapon probably isn't too comfortable with the heavy's default movement speed, but also thinks that the groove's downsides are a little bit too much, so they settle for a mediocre alternative. Either that, or they're a JoJo fan. <laughs> there you go! Got our JoJo reference, didn't get that the other day with the uh, While this Mario weapon is actually movie. pretty good at stuffing ubers if random crits are a thing, the vast majority of holiday punch heavies are friendlies. What? Friendlies? Screw those guys, they're ruining TF2! Hey, shut up, Tryhard! It's just a game! Why don't you let people play how they want? I'm going to completely ignore any and all arguments you Pow. may have against me and instead attack you personally, you fucking pansy! Well, I'm going to completely ignore <laughs> any and all arguments you might have and instead attack you personally, you fucking Tryhard! Here we go. Everybody Ryan! Everybody Ryan! <laughs> Sit this one out. Yeah, things pretty much oh just God. went to shit right there, real quick. <laughs> Hear that heavy right there? He's like backing up, like, no. <laughs> okay. What the hell's going okay, on? Okay, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> is it over? 
Well, it's all going right. on off screen, so, you know. Anyway, that's all the weapons for Heavy that weren't already talked about in the multi-class episode. NG is up next, so if you have any suggestions Ooh, or input NG. that you want me to see, leave a comment or shoot me a tweet or do whatever, I guess. I try to read everything I can and get as big of a sample size as possible, so don't hesitate to chip in. Uh, anyway, that's all I've got, so, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. For those of you wondering, the Heavy update is not coming up anytime soon, all right? How do I know that? <laughs> That's it. That's it. There's nothing else. Yeah, there's nothing else. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So, Weapon Stereotypes, Episode 6, The Heavy. That was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually... That actually had a little bit more comedy than his these things usually do. It was pretty good. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to me. And uh, don't forget to click on the link to the original video down in the description. Get down to Sound Smith and subscribe to him. Uh, yeah, he's got 311k subs, and I'm glad to say that I am one. And I hope I bring him more subs uh, with these videos. Anyway... Don't forget to share this video also on social media, guys. Help this channel grow, you know, so I can get big like Soundsmith, 311k subs. I'd love to get that. I'm trying to get to 100 by next April. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Tune in every day for new content, and bye bye